Meteorologist Katie McNeil joins me now. Katie, it's obviously going to get darker a lot sooner now, but we get more sleep tonight. Yeah, we'll get more sleep, and the bonus on the other end of things is if you're leaving the house, it will be start to get lighter at around 6 in the morning versus 7. But unfortunately, as we head into winter now, those sunsets are going to be an hour earlier, which I know is hard going into winter, a little bit depressing. Uh, but right now, though, we are quiet. Let's take a look at Lincoln here. We're only a couple hours away. We have this time change on the way here. Temperatures right now are in the mid 40s. Shouldn't be cooling down all too much here for the rest of the night. We're at 46 right now in Providence, 47 in Narragansett, right around 51 still in Newport in the 50s. Overnight lows will be kind of generally around the mid 40s throughout the night here. So we're looking at another seasonable day on Sunday with uh, right around average temperatures here and sunshine. We're falling back an hour overnight tonight, setting the trend now for around the next five months here. Cooler air is also expected to return on Monday and then again towards the middle and end of the week with some chances for rain as well. And let's take a look at the temperature trend here. So going to be pretty seasonable for the next three days. Monday will be a little bit cooler. We're expecting here with some showers late in the day on Monday, and then we're going to be dropping pretty considerably here as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday and Friday back down well into the 50s. So a little bit chillier towards your midweek satellite and radar. Some clouds moving through the area right now, but staying dry. Uh, there is a chance for a sprinkle or two, especially towards the South Shore as we head into the overnight hours but nothing too impactful here for the next couple of days. On a wider scale, we do have this high pressure here out towards Pennsylvania. Uh, this cold front to our north is going to stay away, so we're expecting to stay relatively dry here as we head into Sunday and really through the next couple of days, although Monday night into Tuesday has kind of the next chance that I'm tracking for any showers. Let's take a look more in the close term here. So again, as I mentioned, could see a sprinkle or two as we head into the pre-dawn hours. Those clouds are going to start to break up, though, as we head towards Sunday morning, allowing things to warm up pretty quickly here as we head towards around noontime. Afternoon highs are going to be right around 60 degrees. Could have some clouds mixing back into as we head towards the later hours of the afternoon into evening. But overall, looking like a very nice day again and staying dry, which is the good news. Sunday morning here, chilly start in the 40s, but again, warming up a lot milder by the afternoon hours here. Your highs are going to be right around 60 degrees in Providence, 61, 62 with those mostly sunny conditions as we head towards uh, the end of the day here. Your seven day forecast again, that reminder to set your clocks back for early Sunday morning. Uh, otherwise looking pretty good through Monday with a chance for showers towards the midweek. Sheena, back to you so much still ahead in sports we had a lot of high school state championships to get to today we